हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम एगेन वेलकम एगेन टू दिस न्यू वीडियो ऑफ आई ओ टी सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग दैट हाउ यू कैन पोस्ट योर मैसेज और डाटा टू द सोशल मीडिया एंड फॉर सोशल मीडिया टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द ट्विटर अकाउंट सो टू पोस्ट एनीथिंग इन द ट्विटर अकाउंट सो वी कैन नॉट पोस्ट इट डायरेक्टली सो आई नीड ए प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर दैट एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द थिंग स्पीक प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज फ्रॉम मैथ वर्क हाउ टू यूज द थिंग स्पीक एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट द account here i have already explained in my previous previous videos you can look into there so without delaying let us start here uh, so first uh, to post your data to twitter we need to link the twitter account to the things speak and then only you can do that so for that uh, once you open the things speak website and log in here with your account you will find this apps option so click on this apps option and go to the think tweet option so once you go to this think tweet option then this window will come up and here already i have linked my twitter account that's why this uh, uh, option is coming like api key and actions and all so you can just click on link twitter here and uh, you will uh, land up in a website uh, page in like this and here you can authorize the app and you can link your twitter account so i have already done this so i am not going to do it again so once you do this you will get this unique api key here for your account and this api key will be used in the web uh, in the programming okay now let us uh, go to the programming here so this is the programming i am going to uh, use today uh, we'll start from the scratch and uh, li write line by line code so first uh, before going to uh, the actual message and uh, sending the data we need to import some libraries for connecting to wifi as well as connecting to internet so for that i need to write include <coughs> wifi dot h okay this is the one uh, library then uh, header file another one is so as we are going to connect to the internet so for that I need http http client dot h and uh, again I need one more library that is as include wifi client dot h okay now i will uh, ob create one object with the wifi client Some, yeah small i so wifi client i will take it the object as wifi client okay now take in uh, one object as wifi client then i need to give the host who is the web host or where we go to which website we are going to send our data so that will be api.thingspeak.com so this is the website where we are going to send our data and then i need to use one port here so basically every internet connection has to have associated with a port and here i will take http port I am taking this variable here, it is not anything inside the program, I am writing it. And uh, then one more point to which URL we are going to send. Host, this is the website where we are going to send. And I need to declare one variable also where we are going to send. So this will be api, api, sorry, api.thingspeak.com and after that it will go to slash apps, slash thing to it slash one slash status slash update so this is where it is going to update the status or whatever message we are going to give then i will uh, create one ob one more object here that is http client as http okay so this much uh, initial setup we need after that we will go to the directly to the void setup so in i am right to writing to uh, write, uh, going to write the code in the void setup to send the message i will not write in the wifi uh, void loop because i don't want the message to be posted again and again so just once it is posted that's fine so that's why i'll just write the code to update it in the void setup now before going i need to start the uh, serial monitor to see what is happening inside the ESP32 module so for that I'll just write serial that begin with baud rate of 9600 then I'll connect to the Wi-Fi 
so for that i write wifi dot begin and here i can directly give the ssid and password no need to declare it uh, previously so this is my wifi ssid and the password is also to be given as a character so this is the wifi dot begin and it will try to connect to this ssid and password so now to get confirm that uh, it is connected or not i'll use a while loop for here and uh, while wifi dot status so it will give me the status of the wifi so wifi dot status if it is not connected not equals to status connect wifi land connected then it is going to print dots for me with a delay of 200 milliseconds then serial dot print as a character dots so it will just print that if it is wifi is not connected then it will try to print all those things for me okay now unless and until the wifi is connected it will just print the dots and after that once it is connected i need the message that wifi is connected so for that i'll write serial dot print ln wifi is connected i need to know the ip address as well so i'll write with ip and then i'll just print the ip so for ip the code is wifi dot local ip so it will get the ip address for me okay so now if wifi is connected then it will print the uh, ip address for me that's confirms that wifi is connected now we'll uh, start uh, connecting to the uh, server so how to do that i'll use the object that i have taken http dot begin okay so http dot begin in dot begin i need to pass all the required information so what are those first is wi-fi client so it will try to connect from the wi-fi client and then the host that is the website it is going to send and then the use the http port and then the url so in through this it is going to connect to the internet and the particular address where we are going to send the data now i will write the message here in the string so i will write request body which is i am going to send request body the request body means request body uh, body means message the message i am going to write so api underscore key is equals to where to get the api key so basically here is the api key So the API key is here. I'll just copy this API key. And I'll paste it here. So when API key is equals to this one, then I will post my data. So when API key is equals to this and, so without any space, we have to write and status. What is the status of this? Um, of the Twitter you want to post. So status equals to, I'll write here. Uh, so this also should be without space. So this message is posted from ESP32 by M class. Okay, now it will post this message. So after the message is post, I need to print the HTTP code as well. So here I'll write http code okay so where to get that http code so i'm declaring a variable as integer variable name is http code and uh, where it will get so once i'll post this so post what to post to post the request body So this request body when it is post then it will give me the response code and then i'll just print if the response code comes as 200 we'll consider i mean it is consider that it is correctly sent so http code i'll print okay now after this i with a delay of will wait for two seconds or you can give more than that also 
we delay up to two, uh, two seconds then we go to the void loop so now in the void loop i will write nothing here i just want that void loop should be there so once a void setup is completed for uh, run for one time then it will go to the void loop and uh, in the void loop it will stay so it will not post the message again so one time it will post the message this message is posted from esp32 okay now i uh, will select the board let's see so board is selected so esp32 and uh, dev module that i am going to use and then i will just compile the code here so while it is being compiled uh, we'll see what if there is no error we'll upload this code and now i'll uh, okay so it is saying some error where okay the semicolon is missing here i'll compile it again so now i will connect uh, this esp32 module to the system some more error is there so what's that error wifi dot local ip okay so this error is okay the error is because i have to give here one bracket this is a inbuilt function that's why it is showing the error okay so let me just run the again in the meantime i'll connect this esp32 to my system so it is connected now if there is no error then i uh, will upload this one to the esp32 so again some uh, error is there let us see okay now the uh, error is uh, done compiling is completed now we'll upload the code so i'll click on click upload in the meantime i'll open uh, the twitter account of main okay so we'll put it like this I have to select the port here. now while it says uploading i have to press the boot button that i have uh, pressed in the esp32 board and uh, then it will start uploading the code once it is done we'll open the serial monitor and then we'll see what is happening there okay. it is done i'll open the serial monitor now so it is trying to connect now it is connected so response code is 200 now so when this is done uh, i should be able to see uh, the post here so I will just maximize this one. So profile and C. So this this should be coming here. So it just takes a little bit time to get uploaded. So let's just uh, wait for some time and we'll see. So you can see now message uh, response code is 200 and uh, then we'll try to reload this page. I hope uh, it is posted. So see here now it is just posted. Uh, so whatever message I have written in the program, this message is uploaded from ESP32 by M plus. And you can see the time as well, just 25 seconds uh, before 10.21 is the time and here in my system the time is 10.22. So this is uh, just posted right now. So again if you want to post one more message, you have to change this message. The same message will not be posted second time if you want to do it. So uh, for example, let us now just change the message here and uh, we'll uh, try to upload it again. So I'll write here. 
this is the second message from EST32 by N class. Okay, the simple message I have just changed the message and I will uh, upload it again. I will open the serial monitor as well and I will open the Twitter as well. Okay. So you can uh, see here once the upload starts, uh, I have to press the boot button. Okay, now it will upload. So now it is see here it is connecting it is connected IP address is placed then response code is 200 now you should be getting it here we will just refresh this space ok so this is the second message from ESP32 by N class so this is how you can use your ESP32 to post message to social media and uh, further you can uh, uh, update your temperature data and whatever you want so it will keep on posting but this is just an idea that how you can use it and you can use your own creativity to make it uh, use for anything else so that's it from this video and uh, thank you very much if you have any doubt regarding the code just uh, post in the comment i will try to resolve that thank you have a good day